Welcome ladies and gentlemen to our YouTube channel Zion Kenya TV. I believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are. No one was expecting this. And as I said that politicians are always the same. They always try to portray the other colleague's character in order to clinch into power. Yala MP Kanini Kega seems to open a war with the president. And it seems in no secret which have been actually done with the Ruto's administration. And we all know what he did to Azimio before he ditches to a UDA party. As temperature in the politics in the Republic of Kenya is getting higher, Yala MP seems to expose Ruto's government in a new twist of, of things is doing. And today's analysis we want to analyze why do you think Kanini Kega is opening a war in Ruto's government? Before I do that, if this might be your first time watching me at Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel, kindly request you just take a one second and click the subscription button and subscribe. In that next time when I upload you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come to your YouTube platform. And to the members, I want to be very much grateful for the great job you are doing through your subscriptions, like and also comment. May you continue with the same spirit and God bless you so much because if it were not your support on this channel, then this channel could have not reached where it is as at now. Let us do this analysis. As I am speaking, the deputy president is in Europe, which Kenyans were not expecting this because at this moment Kenyans economy is really getting worse. And today, ladies and gentlemen, before I do of ELMP, I decided to do a research on how each and every president is traveling well in power. And as I begin with Barack Hussein Obama, 52 foreign trips in 8 years. Donald Trump, 24 foreign trips in 4 years. Joe Biden, 15 foreign trips in 3 years. Boris Johnson, 12 foreign trips in 4 years. John Pombe Magufuli the late, 3 trips in 6 years. Then William Samoy Ruto, 38 trips in one year. <laughs> so, who is having larger numbers? It is upon you to decide as I am displaying to you on the screen. That is why I said yesterday that we go astray by electing leaders who don't care about us. Sometimes we also get into a problem for us to learn from a victory that we should be aware and obey the words of an old age. People like Uhuru Kenyatta gave us a warning. Now, what is happening today in the Republic of Kenya? That Iala MP said the current attempts by President Ruto that the shilling will be strengthened soon was another flat lie according to the latest dollar shilling index. That is what Kanini Kega seems to say. What is worrying me? When Kanini Kega was dumping Azimio, he said that he is no longer working under Raila's administration or under Uru's administration. The same Kanini Kega went and uh, ditches the Jubilee Party and opened a war with the Uru Kenyatta under his administration. And that is what seems to happen. So the real picture here which is being portrayed by Kanini Kega is that they have realized that the ground seems to be hostile for Ruto's administration in 2027. And today's analysis we want to analyze. Why do you think Kanini Kega is opening a war with the president? One, the secret which they plan while ditching both Azimio and Jubilee have been 
not fulfilled as he was expecting. The Sabina Chegas <laughs> ditches or dumped by UDA party is also a nightmare to this juvenile, young juvenile politician. Then the third one, it means that this man is now regretting on what Uhuru say. That if these central people will make a mistake not to listen to me by selecting the Hasler government, electing, sorry, then it will be tough for you to get out from this region. And that is what I said the last two days that Kenya Kwanzaa uh, central people are now regretting on Uhuru's uh, tough warning to them of which they did not listen to. Then number four, I'm seeing Kanini Kega is trying to find a political uh, route to escape from not being summoned by the people from Central Kenya. Because what he did while opening a war with Uhuru Kenyatta is the best move to tell you that this man really, really loves himself and he did not want anybody or anyone from central Kenya to get into Ruto's uh, government. I mean, as he was expecting that Ruto's government is honey and milk, there is no honey and milk. There, there is only bees that he is seeing now. And that is why we are seeing he is opening another war with the president. The question is, is he going to manage? But the real reality, ladies and gentlemen, is that these people are now confused that no one was expecting uh, the, those who ditches Jubilee to move this way. What can you say on this Kanini Kega? As he is calling upon Trade CS Rebecca uh, Miano to put in place measures on uh, the economic crisis. Again, the same same Kanini Kega is claiming that now Uganda are now how they used to trade with Uganda. The, the Ugandan people are now making their own product and bringing the products into Kenya. As Kenyans were making the products and selling it to Ugandans. So it means that even the trade in the Republic of Kenya is getting down. It's coming... Uh, bankrupt also. As I said yesterday, again, that the tax that KRA are now complaining, even the buyers or the customers, they don't want to use the tail number. They only want to use cash. That is what seems to happen soon in the Republic of Kenya. And that is why we are seeing the Yala MP is raising alarm to the president also. As much as it is all about political differences, but the real reality is that will Kanini Kega fight this battle? My name is Charles, as I'm eagerly waiting for your opinion at the comment section below. Meanwhile, I want to wish you all the best. Kindly, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the channel. As we always believe, Zion Kenya TV delivers you the best on political uh, news and also some words of, of encouragement in life. May we have a blessed time as we hope to meet on another analysis.